hello welcome back or welcome to also bear with me new camera new lights i'm gonna mess around with some stuff so we might go a little wacky you know strobe light but today we're gonna be checking out a game called homeless i haven't seen much of this game i've only heard fantastic things about it it's a fairly new release and it went to the top of my list real real quick essentially what i've gathered from it is you're stuck in a subway and there's a creepy man watching you i think that's the gist of it <laughs> but we're gonna find out so without further ado welcome to homeless beneath the dazzling lights of new york a sinister darkness lurks in the hour when the whole city is sleeping a strange and terrifying man emerges from the darkness intent on shattering your mind and your spirit Wow. Unreal Engine 5 is incredible. I hate this damn city. The rich are up in their penthouses enjoying life, while the poor are down on the streets struggling for a bite to eat. My whole 45 years, they promised me I'd get up there one day, but it was all lies. I'm still stuck down here, forced to guard these fucking trains for peanuts. God damn. So, right off the bat, obviously, it's on the Unreal Engine. Also, I'm not sure if I should have the light on or not. I feel like it's a little more fitting to not have it on. But yeah, I think I'm going to roll with uh, the lights off for, uh, for the actual gameplay. Let me know if you guys think I should uh, turn them on every once in a while. Or have them on in general. Kind of trying to figure some stuff out. I just feel like the uh, the dark room adds to the ambience or ambiance, however you want to say it. This game is fucking gorgeous, though. Subway security. And you know me, big fan of the uh, like body cam found footage style so this is perfect <laughs> not sure why we're uh why we're shaking already uh dear team it has come to our attention that there's been an increase in incidents where homeless individuals seek refuge within the station confines overnight while we empathize with their plight their presence poses significant safety risks to both them and our patrons your id card albert smith You know, this game has kind of a, uh, I gotta go check those CCTV cameras again. I'm beat. This game kind of has a, uh, like a realness kind of factor to it, which I really like because it's dark. I mean, it shows, shows, shows real life struggle and kind of being able to, uh, include that in something scary such as horror or something is pretty cool. Where we just were. There's a look see at all these cameras. Oh man, another power outage. Gotta go fix the issue. If that's a power outage, uh, that's a little spooky. But also, it looks like everything else has power. <laughs> that's a weird angle. Alright, 
let's go fix this power outage. Can we get like a flashlight or something of the sorts? Where even is that? Okay, we can kind of sprint. We can do a light jog. Nope, not through there. Every day something new comes out in, uh, like, Unreal. It just, it further kind of blows my mind. Oh, that's so cool. This is a dope-ass shot. screen a docker you just want to go docking docking party in my house god just this creepy feel alone in tunnels Metro card entry. Oh, there's our power outage. I need a key. Where do I get the said key? was that? Are we having visions? No, I've never been on a subway. I've been on like an underground tram, but like actual subway I'm not it's kind of similar to the same thing aha there's the key a hand speaker can we take it with and scare the scare the ghost Are you knocking? And where are you knocking? The fuck? It sounded wood. The only thing wood is this dresser. Are you inside of the dresser? Rock and roll. I'm going here. And. Ah, we're dead. Trash. Heck of smokes. I guess maybe we don't need to be in here yet. Why is this still spinning? I feel like it shouldn't be. Alright, let's get this power going. Oh, 
We're dead. We messed with their power. We are uh, toast. The fuck? Who's there? Hey, yo, don't, don't come at me. I got a gun. I don't think I do. I don't like your humming. Have you heard the man? Have you ever heard the cry of a hungry man? Oh no, is he gonna fucking eat us? that we can take like you know I'm gonna assume there's not a gun or anything over here but like a bar a piece of rubble even I'm not picky oh, we have to interact with it maybe Fuck off. Who did that shit? Who's in here? Oh, fuck. But who was flickering the lights? If... Alright. I'm just saying right now, if there's a horror game that uh, makes you manage a light like this, I hope there's some dev listening. Lost family, lost home, lost everything. Don't be afraid of the shadows in the alleys. It's me watching you. Um, I could really use a flashlight. up to the surface hopeless can I grab like this wet floor sign used as a weapon oh shit Likely another homeless has entered the area again. Oh shit. Oh, we are going back up to the surface, thank god. Back to our security station. Do I have to go weed him out now? Oh, 
Can we just where? Oh. What the hell is this guy doing at the station at this hour? I'm probably gonna fucking eat you. That's a tall motherfucker. Oh. Why, hello there. How are you doing this fine evening, good sir? Yo, I wish I were that tall. The fucking jams. Alright, real talk though. If you're in this situation, there's like a seven foot tall dude down there. In all black, very ominous, very dark. Are you really going to go confront him or are you just going to let him be? I know what I'm doing. That is that motherfucker's subway station now. Keep me out of it. He ain't hurting anything. Do we at least get to be armed this time? Probably not. Oh yeah, are we just gonna go home? Tell me, tell me yes, tell me yes, please. Um, no, we're just gonna go down a glory hole that doesn't lead to any glory. Only pain, only sadness. God damn, how far down is this shit? Need some tea because this is making me stressed. Hello, good sir. I'm insecure and I'm here to tell you that you need to leave. Uh, the fuck's going on in here already? Uh, Jesus, this is a horrible crime. He is eating fucking people already. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb your microwavable meal. Uh, we got a hungry man in the oven. Oh, shit. Syringe. Special fruit juice order for vulture. Blend of human eye and brain. Delicious. I was waiting for it. Still waiting for it. Please tell me you didn't kill the barista. Motherfucker. go report this or just gonna let it be because I know I would be going up to the surface right about now fuck this shit someone else this is someone else's problem I 
I scream my loneliness amidst crowded streets, but no one hears. I hear you, brother. I know it's fucking rough out here. This is new. I may have already said it before, but um, games like this where they hone in on a... It's a lot more scary than just like going to a house and ghost hunting. Because this is like a super independent variable. Fuck. He's messing up all the systems. I mean, yeah, probably he's pissed. Smoke. I'm gonna fucking need one of those. A bag of plaster, just chilling on the on the counter, on the table. in the bathroom. Never mind, he's not. But wasting water, it's not good for the earth. We only have so much of it. Hey, yo, you Alright, I know, you a tall ass motherfucker, so... You would be peeking over these stalls right now, so I know you're not in one of them. Now this side, you might be. Grab this. Grab the fucking mop. Uh, you're missing something there, buddy. Vulture. Agreement for transfer of penthouse in Manhattan. Agreement terms. Both parties acknowledge that the penthouse is being sold in its current condition and no warranties or guarantees are provided. 250 million wait so is he just killing rich people because if so this is something I can get behind a savior of the people if you will and we're not rich so we're oh no oh no He's going to doctor disrespect us. That was really fucking cool. That was pretty sick. Not gonna lie. He left the body. And he was gonna go grind it up in a juicer.
Alright, where to now? Oh. Gee, ha ha. Maniacal laughing. I like it. See, why would you uh, go further down? I would be uh, running the fuck away. Maybe I'm a pussy. Alright, maybe. But like, you know, survival of the fittest. This guy is dying instantly. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. We have to come up with a code. Man, I don't fucking know. Uh oh. We're hallucinating. Five, six, eight. Oh, wait. Okay. Eight C. So the third C for eight. Seven blank. Seven, three, eight. Seven, three, eight, seven. I think. Seven, three, eight, seven. Easy. The best puzzler in the existence of puzzling. Now I know this motherfucker ain't gonna be down here already. I said it couldn't even fit down here. All ass. Also, goddamn, how deep is this fucking subway? Got those Monday morning blues. What the fuck? How do you get down here? Does he have the pass key? Please leave me alone. I have no shelter. It's a different one. Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't mess with anyone. Please leave me alone. I have no shelter. Please. Don't worry, my friend. I won't harm you. I just want to know if you've seen a tall homeless man named Vulture around here. I've been here the whole time and I don't know any other homeless people. Please don't kick me out. I'm not kicking you out, alright? need to know where this other motherfucker is. You sure you're not lying? You sure you're telling the truth? So maybe he is a supernatural homeless man. Yeah, no, fuck of this. Being in the subway at night, fuck off. Walk past you, buddy, don't worry. We're cool. All about kill the rich too. It's fine. Alright, get me the fuck up to the surface. I swear to god, if we're going down further, we're gonna have problem problems. I think we went down further. Didn't 
no we didn't. Better call the cops right now before I become his next meal. True that. Call them right the fuck now. Nope, call them. Oh, you're a lot shorter. Hello, may I help you? What if it's like a we are vulture? Not an I'm vulture, we're vulture. Can I help you? Okay. I'm getting paranoid. I mean, shit, I would be too. Call the cops. Call them up. Shit, the phone. The phone's dead. You're not serious right now, are you? Feels like this guy wants to turn my night into a total nightmare. I mean, probably. I'm hungry. Can I eat you? You can eat me anytime you want. <laughs> What pretty eyes you have. He's got a nice smile. Looks like a charmer. Looks like someone you would want to take back home to Ma. God damn it. Give me a gun and we'll go clean them up. Take them to the cleaners. We didn't call them though. Because the phone's dead. Coincidentally, our landline is dead. Now that may be shocking to some of you, I know what a landline is. <laughs> Alright, what the fuck's going on in here? We got the hops, damn. Shit, I have no fear now with hops like this. Some strong ass cardboard boxes though I gotta say. I'm impressed. Um, why can we open all of these then? Oh. 
I might be a little toasty. <gasps> that was cool. He's a slurping. Just a little vampire. Nose for it is nose for onto. Holy shit. We're being stalked by a vampire. <laughs> yep, you can have that one all to yourself. Yep, you can have that one too. I want to go home. My goal is home. But with us jumping this high, we could just roundhouse kick the motherfucker. Yes, um, where go? Maybe there. That might be where we go. <laughs> oh, are we stuck in limbo? Uh, what's going on here? neighborhood looks familiar. Uh, it doesn't look familiar to me, so help me out here. Lights on. stranger which floor would you like I need this one we can stare at each other a hey, stranger English or Spanish Damn, he's a tough one to beat. We're listening to TV. We're watching TV. It's 
sounds like a nice tune. Like quiet and oh. Fair enough. I'll go away. But also, why is there uh, why is there crime scene tape and um, no officers and the body is just left here? A bit of an interesting event. Conviction notice. Mr. Joe Smith. No notice for non payment. How much it was rent here? I mean I assume it's probably a fucking ton, so Oh, we're going into this room. <laughs> oh. We're going into this apartment. I think this might be the house we lived in when I was a kid. Oh, we're at our apartment as a kid. And why would the tall man take us here? How would he even know? Some of the drawers are locked. Uh oh, are we hallucinating? I lost my car. Can someone find it? Right there. Right there, dumbass. Here we gotta search for a car. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Knock, knock. Oh. Aren't you amazed at how much we look alike? We look alike. Hold on. We must be handsome. There's your car. What an easy find. Don't worry about it. The house is just settling. Put that shit. Knock it off. your car buddy even though I believe you are dead oh. yeah you're pretty I Jesus are you Jesus as well what is happening right now are we on like a DMT trip because he killed us is that what we're playing right now he hates this city just like I do <laughs> 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 so 
So we have been doing it. We've been doing all the the killing. Oh. The killer, it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him, I didn't kill him. You're a sinner. You're a sinner, Harry. This is... This is a trip. This is definitely a, uh, a trip of some sort. I'm currently a little confused. What the fuck? Oh, but we got a gun now. That bastard wants me to take the fall for murder. I gotta kill him. So I, he's tormenting us somehow, some way. Gone is dead. Panis over here shoots before he, uh, he thinks. Definitely is a killer now. You know, I'm slightly confused. because I'm trying to connect all the points. Hopefully, hopefully it will um, kind of explain things as we continue a little more. I'm gonna waste all of our ammo. stay back a little bit more. I don't think I can sprint backwards, so... Yeah, we just needed literally one more shot. That's unfortunate as hell. We rapid-fired that thing, though. We don't even... We don't even reshell each time. Semi-automatic. We mean business. So how much fucking ammo do we have? He's gonna pop up again, I bet. Takes four shots. Inner demon. That looks fun. Like a party. Cool little party. Cool little fun time. Five. He's getting stronger. Oh, is this that one camera that... Yeah, it is. It's like right there. It's cool seeing all the, uh, the different cameras. Like, the different angles which the cameras show. Hold on, so it says I'm dead, but I got an achievement saying I killed the vulture. <laughs> Alright, let's try this shit one more time. Hopefully my game doesn't stutter again. And 
there, here we go. Man down, man down. His eyes stopped glowing. Oh, that, that handsome ass grin. Albert, after killing Vulture, reported the incident to the police. The crime police found no trace of a body or any evidence of Vulture's existence. Albert tried to convince the officers that the murder of the man in the bathroom was Vulture's doing, but based on the evidence, the police concluded that Albert was a psychopath and he had committed the murder himself. Albert was prosecuted and spent the rest of his life in a mental institution. God damn. I'm surprised I read that that fast. Not gonna lie to ya. <laughs> we struggle with reading here. Yeah, I was curious what this board was all about. I should have looked at it a little better. Is he gonna be in one of the pictures? Yep, he sure is. I see him. Workers on the opening day of the Brooklyn station. He's the demon of the subway. Nose for ride to homeless. Okay, so that was Homeless. Uh, not bad. Definitely was one of those games where it was more like uh, atmospheric than anything else. Gotta say, I really enjoyed the concept of the homelessness because I feel like the more real and like tragic and truly like realistic dark atmospheres when you apply them to horror it elevates horror so much more and i want to see more of it but it's unfortunate because it is kind of a, a touchy subject type you know it's kind of a morality thing on making a game about being homeless you know it's one of those things but overall i did enjoy it um is it the best game i played no is it the worst game i played hell no but i think it's a great show of what Unreal Engine 5 especially can do because the visuals of the game were fantastic. They were so damn good. The little uh, the little demon himself kind of looked a little not in place personally, but you know it's just part of it's just part of indie horror. You know sometimes they fit perfectly, sometimes they don't. I know that the lighting's been kind of kind of weird and all around the place. Let me know what you guys think of uh, them being the lights being on and off. This is kind of a uh, a learning thing for me. I'm trying to see what works the best, what looks the best. So let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoy Lolo Me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never-ending backlog of horror games that you're going to be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror suggestions, let me know down in the comments because I'm always open to expanding this never-ending list. But until next time, bye.